Hi, here is another instruction video from Hardy. In this segment, we'll show you our dynamic fluid force system in action. Um, the traditional systems, they work on uh, a feedback system, meaning that you have to be off target with your application rate before the regulation valve um, adjusts. Uh, with this system, the dynamic fluid four, um, we work on a, a feed forward system, uh, which uses inputs from uh, four sensors. Um, the first one is the flow sensor, the traditional flow sensor. The second one is a, a pressure sensor, it's tucked in behind here. Um, the third is a sensor uh, detecting the revolutions of the pump. And the fourth is a sensor detecting the position of the regulation valve opening. What I'm holding here is actually uh, uh, the heart of the regulation valve. It's two ceramic discs, so we have almost no wear and a very long life. Uh, it's got a very uh, short reaction, it's only 90 degrees to react from fully open to fully closed. And the system is leak proof, meaning that there is no wastage of uh, pump capacity, uh, so we have the full capacity of the pump being used uh, to spray and to uh, keep the agitation going. The system also is monitoring the active boom width and the driving speed. Um, the tractor I'll be using has a constant velocity transmission and I'm using this because it really tests a traditional uh, regulation system on a sprayer. Um, I'll spray at 10 kilometers an hour, um, use a um, yellow O2 uh, ISO hardy nozzle and apply 100 litres per hectare. Okay, uh, we're spraying 100 litres per hectare. I'll turn off half the boom sections and you can start counting how quickly it comes to be back on target again. It was about three seconds. Now I'll turn off all the sections but one, uh, remembering that this one section is only two nozzles and that's putting out uh, 1.6 litres per minute. You can start counting from now. That's pretty darn quick and it's because the system switches from uh, flow based sensing to pressure based sensing when the flow is low. Now I'll turn everything on again. Again it's about three seconds. So now um, I'll, um, I'll change the uh, engine RPM without changing the speed from now. Were you counting? That was about four seconds again. And you can see we're up to about 540 uh, pump RPM. Okay, let's try starting from standstill. I've got uh, constant engine RPM and uh, I'll get to my spraying speed as quickly as possible. So, ready, set, go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, three to four seconds again. Um, okay, for the last test, I'd like to provoke the whole system by changing various things. Um, I've stopped the, um, the spray or the tractor. Um, I'll switch off all but one section, all but one, and uh, I'll change the engine RPM. Um, about a bit over 500. Um, I'm ready to go. Are you ready to count? Let's go. I got about four seconds there. Try that with your existing sprayer. Um, all this um, work uh, I've done without activating the auto section control just to make it easier for you to follow um, the changes that, um, on the screen. If you're using auto section control, it's even more important for the system to react quickly. So um, the Dynamic Fluid 4 is very impressive um, and uh, I'm sure uh, you'll find it impressive too.